the real problem with Duke Nukem is it took too long to come out. Because if any of these games would have came out, uh, that came out in the past, were to come out now, they would probably flop now too. Uh, a good example would be Doom 3. Well, I like Doom 3. When Doom 3 came out, I think in 2001 or 2002, uh, somewhere around that time period, it didn't do that great. And neither did Quake 4. Now, I enjoyed the games because I knew what I was getting into. And I think the problem is Duke Nukem coming out now, people don't understand. That. They don't get it. You see, when you're playing Duke Nukem, you're not playing it like you're going to play Half-Life. Okay? When you're playing Duke Nukem, you're not playing it like you would play Halo. Like, this game is really just straight up fun. You're just messing around, doing whatever. It's like the video game uh, Postal that came out. People were taking that way too serious. It, 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 the game is not even that serious. It's just really about just having fun, being retarded, whatever. Now, I saw a few comments under the video, and people were saying that, you know, Duke Nukem failed to step it up. I think you might have said that in your video as well. I don't think it, it, it's not like it failed to step up. It's just not that type of game. I mean, it's it's Duke Nukem. You know, I mean, some uh, there's a lot of games that have been coming out a lot that do the same thing over and over, and they're not being very innovative about it, but they keep coming out. I mean, there was a poster that made a comment about um, the Mega Man series. That's been going on forever, and it's basically the same game. No one's complained and said that's not revolutionary, that it hasn't adapted. Um, many of the Mario games are pretty much similar. I mean, yeah, they did make hu the huge leap to 3D, but if... G good example would be Zelda. Now, Ocarina of Time was the the leap from the, the 2D to 3D. That was that was a big leap. But everything after that was pretty much Ocarina of Time, just a little different. I mean, Wind Waker is Ocarina of Time, but you know, with uh, the cel shaded graphics, uh, Twilight Princess, all of them, they they play just like Ocarina of Time. They just have this massive cult following, and what Nintendo kept doing was every so, when it's three, four years or whatever, they would come out with a new one, or they'd have a good, a decent enough hype and come out with another one. Duke Nukem didn't do that. I mean, it took 13, 14 years before the next game could come out, and we'd have to be, we'd have to be kidding ourselves if we're gonna sit here and pretend like all of these first-person shooters are that far evolved from yesteryear. I mean, they basically do the same thing. It's just now they have prettier graphics and sometimes you have a shield and you can dodge behind things and hide things more. They haven't changed that much. I mean, there yeah, there's different mechanics, you know, there's there's different strategies involved, but for the most part you're ducking behind boxes and stuff like that, dodging bullets and doing the same thing. It's not that far gone from Duke Nukem. Is Duke Nukem is more focused on the crazy nonsense out of the box story and 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 one-liners and and whatnot more so than technical gameplay. You know, it's not when you're playing Duke Nukem, you're not playing Counter Strike. You're playing Duke Nukem, and I think all these reviewers, all these people, forgot that. I wouldn't even have, I wouldn't even approach this game the same way all of these other people have been approaching it. They are approaching this way different. It would be like if I mean, what if what if we were to get real serious and approach the Super Mario series that way? It w I mean, it, it would be a catastrophe for Nintendo if everyone approached Mario the same way, which I think is going to happen with this new Wii system. Another example would be you know all the the clones of Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry was the one that started that genre, the hack and slash genre in 3D. Every single hack and slash game after that pretty much copies that formula. No one complains. There's God of War, Ninja Gaiden, uh, was, there's, there's other clones that have come out that pretty much are Devil May Cry. The same control scheme, everything. All it is, uh, the new Castlevania, it, uh, Devil May Cry with a mix of God of War elements in there. The same style of gameplay, no one's complaining. What is it? Is it because the games are more serious? Quote, quote, serious? More realistic? I'm, you know, I, I'm using those terms very light because the thing is, the real problem with Duke Nukem is that it just took too long to come out. 
That that's the only problem. If Duke Nukem would have kept coming out every four or five years, if it would have came out in two thousand, it might have did better. But it just took too long. That's not that's the real reason why. Because if they can make Devil May Cry four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and everybody's on it, they keep making a new Metal Gear Solid game. I wanted them to stop with Metal Gear Solid four and do something else, but they keep making it, and people keep buying it, and nobody's complaining. Except me, I'm not. I'm the only person that's been complaining. I don't want any more Metal Gear Solid. I wanted them to stop with Part Four. It's done. But they keep making a new one. Now they have a game with Raiden, cutting stuff with the sword. This, it's. They keep doing the same thing. But the reason why these these franchises don't get crapped on as bad as Duke Nukem is because they keep coming out with this. They they they, they have like a a release pattern. They know they have like a certain amount of time where they can milk whatever series they have. So, those those are just my thoughts on Duke Nukem. I think people are approaching the game, and I don't say that very often about many games. I I'm, I am ready to trash a game because I think there's too much garbage out there anyway. But I think people have approached the game wrong, and that's my thoughts on the latest Duke Nukem release.